I'll try to summarize our success story in this little beautiful um, diagram or framework that will tell us how we started, what the things that the pillars and things that we looked at. Data and science, effective decision making, contact tracing, case management, imposition of restrictions, whatever we had in there. All government approach, intersectoral collaboration, synergy and utilization of resources, and effective implementation of decisions that were made for us to implement. All of society approach, cooperation from communities, support for government response, private sector collaboration, and how we managed to get Kenyans to stop some culture we never thought will ever stop. Shaking of hands, social distancing, whatever you can call about, you, you can talk about. All these things were bought in by society, and that is how we managed to get to it. And eventually we needed um, legal support, legal backing to do certain things, especially in position of restrictions on movements. What next? The battle is not over yet. Despite the fewer cases being recorded and the low mortality rate, and I want to repeat that the battle is not over yet. We're beginning to find some syndrome of people talking about Yare Neko, the disease is gone. Fellow Ghanaians. <laughs> I'm quoting the president. <laughs> the battle is not over yet. The easing of restrictions does not mean the disappearance of COVID-19 from Ghana. COVID-19 still lives with us, but we still need to tell our success story to encourage ourselves to even work harder and do better. And that is why we are here. At least Ghanaians must know how successful our government, led by our president, has fought this battle, at least up to this point. And if you know about the sorrow of Ebenezer, this is where God has taken us. We continue to get support for government actions and response to the pandemic. And the last thing I want to say that the battle has been the Lord's and the battle still continues to be the Lord's. Mm -hmm.